Dear students from INS Kattabaman Vijayanarayanam KV School, Good morning to all. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself that this is KGM Murugan, the President Sri Vivekananda English Academy, Palengote, having been running a communicative English training program for the past 14 years based at Tina Valley. In this session, we are going to discuss something about sadhvik food and its affinity to yogic practice. The food, what we take, influences our nature and thought process. The Chandokya Upanishad emphasizes on sadhvik foods. Since eating such foods purifies the mind and becomes part of our pure consciousness. Ahara Suddha Siddha Suddhihi People with pure mind prefer pure sadhvik food. Also, Bhagavad Gita mentions the importance of diet. Aharas dva abhi sarvasya traibido bhavati priyaha yagnas tapas tata dhanam tesam bedam imam shno. Krishna explains Arjuna the food preference is mainly of three types. The same is true for the sacrifice, austerity, and charity they are inclined towards. Now we can pay attention towards their distinctions. You know, there is a affinity between food intake, what we intake and the guna. What is guna? There are three gunas, sadva, rajas and tamas. These three gunas are groupings of different qualities of energy in prakriti, that is the physical matter. Any living being has gunas and it's one of the three propensities of the mind, body and soul or consciousness. The three gunas are sattva, rajas, rajas and tamas. These categories define and reflect our health, behavior, thinking and diet. Sattvic means purity, health, harmony and well-being. Rajasic means stress, anger, activity and restlessness. Tamasic means dullness, laziness and lethargy. Every one of us has all these three gunas but their proportions varies. For instance, Tamas guna is required for adequate rest and sleep. Rajasa guna is necessary for work and sadhva for fulfilling aspirations in life. A yogic way of life aims to increase the sadhva guna to nurture consciousness via healthy body and mind. Foods we eat will impact us on the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual level. Diet plays a pivotal role to progress towards the realization of a spiritual path. What are Rajasic, Tamasic and Sadvik diets? A Rajasic diet mainly consists of foods which contain sp spices and rich in taste such as onion and garlic, deep fried foods, coffee, tea, refined food items, sugary foods and chocolates etc. These foods give instant energy for a brief period but ultimately we get to experience an energy low or stress as well. A dominantly Rajasic quality diet disturbs the mind-body equilibrium. This type of diet is feeding the body at the cost of the mind. A Rajasic person qualities weak digestive system, always in a rush to eat food fast and prefers rich food. A tamasic diet chiefly consists of reheated foods, chemically processed foods such as eggs, meat, alcohol, cigarettes, etc. A tamasic person will be dull, unimaginative, unmotivated, careless, unaware and lethargic. They will experience illness such as diabetes, obesity and liver disease. A sadhvik diet is a pure vegetarian diet which includes a seasonal fresh fruit, ample of fresh vegetables, whole grain pulses, sprouts, dried nuts, seeds, honey, fresh herbs, 
milk and dairy products which are free from animal rennet these foods raise sadhva or our consciousness level sadvik foods are cooked and eaten with love gratitude and awareness a sadvik person is calm peaceful serene amicable full of energy enthusiasm health hope aspirations creativity and balanced personality an added advantage of sadvik diet helps keep the weight in check and very effective method of weight loss a sadvik food will become tamas tamasic when over processed kept for a longer period or deep fried every object living or non living component including humans in the universe has all three gunas the intensity or proportions of these gunas vary in each individual a spiritual way of life aims to increase the sadva guna to gain a healthy and balanced life sadvik diet includes fresh fruits fresh vegetables sprouts honey ghee nuts grains pulses lentils ginger jaggery unrefined sugar turmeric black pepper dhania fresh herbs milk and dairy products sadvik food keeps a person calm and boosts the immune system thereby they are both physically and mentally healthy rajasik diet includes food that are rich in taste using spices onion garlic coffee tea sugar deep fried foods instant energy giving foods or fast foods rajasik food is flavorful spicy and hot foods this type of food gives instant energy for the time being these food slowly harm the digestive system and give a sense of bloating and indigestion this reduces the energy level in our body and induces stress tallness and anger the tamasic diet includes processed food meat x deep frozen food reheated food alcohol stale foods etc this type of food makes a person lethargic dull unproductive careless and incompetent eating sadvik food will give you good health good nutrition and improves digestion sadvik food is very natural since it includes all fresh and medicinal ingredients the diet is so natural that you don't feel heavy or lethargic after eating and gives a peaceful feeling so slowly start incorporating sadvik food in your diet and learn to cook varieties of tasty dishes because this is this is going to show wonderful results in your body starting from good health good energy boost and positive state of mind so let's uh, let's discuss about the benefits it's not necessary that only a yoga practitioner or a spiritual person should follow the sadvik diet to gain physical and mental balance the sadvik diet plays an important role the following are the benefits of eating a sadvik diet sadvik diet improves the immune system and acts as an immune booster it's extremely nutritious as 40% of sadvik diet includes raw vegetables and fruits in the form of salads consuming natural fresh foods provides all the necessary nutrients diet dietary fiber antioxidants proteins minerals and mono unsaturated fats if this diet is followed regularly it boosts your immunity allowing a healthier immune system number 2 it helps in weight loss if our every if our everyday meal includes sadvik food, foods like a fresh salad made from seasonal vegetables and fruits lentils and sprouts greatly promote weight loss these foods have low carbohydrates and calories which is loaded with the goodness of protein vitamins and minerals it gives us satiated feeling which will prevent you from sinful snacking before the next meal slow chewing of food is proven to reduce fat absorption and instantly boost metabolism sadvik food is rich in fiber which helps in reducing calories number 
it maintains balance in body and mind the sadvik diet is greatly popular among people who practice yoga and exercise this food brings flexibility to the body food is considered to be healthy after consumption brings energy and freshness to the body and mind on the other hand if you feel sleepy and lethargic after having the food then it means that food is not compatible with your body scientists have proved that a good diet brings energy peacefulness and happiness to the mind and body the sadvik diet is loaded with goodness that maintains the balance in body and mind with a healthy body and mind we are sure to increase increase our life expectancy people who are seeking spiritual growth should follow the sadvik diet number 4 it improves digestive system being on a sadvik diet means eating only fresh foods our everyday meals should have 40% of raw vegetables sprouts nuts and fruits this means salad should be a part of our everyday meal vegetables and fruits have the maximum nutrients minerals and fiber when eaten in the raw form which is usually lost when cooked this this promotes easy digestion due to fiber which fiber rich food according to ayurveda each morsel of food has to be chewed 24 times before swallowing this helps complete the absorption of nutrients from food and improves digestion N- number 5 it prevents chronic diseases a low fat and high fiber diet reduces certain chronic diseases like diabetes cancer hypertension heart diseases and also helps fight coronavirus the sadvik diet is rich in fiber nutrients and antioxidants which prevent certain chronic diseases a small change in the diet can make a big impact in the long run being on a sadvik diet means you stay out of fried foods processed foods canned foods etc this keeps the cholesterol level in control and prevents heart diseases diabetes and certain cancers are also part at bay since sadvik food keeps our stomach happy with easy digestion and absorption eating nuts increases the good cholesterol or monosaturated fats in your body that keeps the blood pressure in control those foods also prevent stomach ulcers number 6 it detoxes the body toxicity in the body can be measured if you feel a sense of bloating headache skin rashes fatigue or nausea if you are regularly experiencing these symptoms you need to change the diet and detox your body having a sadvik diet will help detox your body having a sadvik diet will help detox your oxidants that has absorbed in your body practice fasting once in a month would help to detox having a glass of warm water mixed with a pinch of turmeric and honey every morning removes toxicity in your body practicing yoga or meditation along with a healthy diet will help cleans your body so that your mind would also be pure number 7 stay energetic a visible change in the body can be noticed within a month of having a sadvik diet you will wake up fresh in the morning without feeling tired and sleepy our body feels light and energetic with more flexibility than before your mood is elevated bringing in a significant change in the productivity of your work the sadvik diet helps you stay energetic we have seen all the benefits of being on a sadvik diet During this modern age it's not possible to follow this diet entirely but we can slowly incorporate it along with our regular diet once you de- once you reap the benefits i'm sure you will follow them regularly so leverage the easily available resources to improve your health rather than going to the doctors or nutritionists sadvik diet is high in fiber and low in a fat vegetarian diet followed by many yoga enthusiasts Out of all kinds of food, sadvik food is highly nutritious and they are 
often associated with high consumption of micronutrients as per ayurveda the sadvik diet is one of the best choices that promotes longevity mental health and physical wealth this is because they are rich in fresh and nutrient dense foods that include fruits legumes honey herbal teas vegetables and sprouted whole grains therefore ayurveda often recommends eating sadvik food and avoiding damasik food and rajasik food in a typical sadvik diet pattern animal proteins stimulators like caffeine and white sugar and fried foods are excluded some of the you know here are some foods that you can eat while following a sadvik diet land and sea vegetables like spinach broccoli cauliflower kelp peas carrots and lettuce sprouted grains like barley millet amaranth wild rice bulgur etc fats and oils like olive oil red palm oil ghee sesam oil flax oil fruits and fruit juices like apples bananas mangoes fresh fruit juices etc and nuts coconut products like pecans sesame seeds flax seeds walnuts pumpkin seeds brazil nuts beverages like water non caffeinated herbal tea fruit juice dairy and non dairy products in, uh, include premium quality milk cheese almond milk seed based cheese yolk hut nut coconut milk sweetness such as honey and jaggery sattvic herbs and spices such as basil cumin ginger coriander nutmeg turmeric legumes and beans products like lentils chickpeas tofu monk beans the foods list uh, the foods what i said above should make up a maximum portion of your intake also there are some strict and loose variations of this diet what foods should you avoid should should you avoid while on the sadvik diet so you know some of the food items you should avoid uh, to be practicing as a sadvik uh, diet practitioner a typical sadvik diet always discourages consuming foods that belong to rajasik or damasik group because of this reason a lot of animal products refined sugar along a uh, fried foods are restricted from eating while on a sadvik diet here are a few foods you must avoid while on a sadvik diet added sweets and sugar such as white sugar candy soda high fructose corn syrup fried foods like fried pastries french fries and fried vegetables refined grain products like white bread cookies cakes and bagels certain vegetables and fruits like onion pickles garlic and scallions meat fish poultry and eggs like chicken duck lamb and egg white animal based products such as collagen some beverages like sugary drinks caffeinated drinks and alcohol uh, the 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 food items what i said so far you know these all are very dangerous and damasik and rajasik food to be avoided if you want to be healthy uh, in physically physically and mentally and spiritually in general those foods that are very sour spicy and salty must be avoided in addition to that state stale foods like foods left out overnight are also considered tamasik which should be avoided see what all are the sadvik foods we can add to our diet you may ask such uh, you may raise that question so work on adding the sadvik foods you know i'm going to i'm going to provide you here i'm going to tell you uh, here after to promote and support a yogic lifestyle eating more of these foods will support your meditative spiritual and yogic practices number 1 fresh fruit packed with 
prana that is life energy and antioxidants fresh fruit can form up to 50% of a yogi yogi's diet all fruits that is sweet fresh and organic is considered sattvic so adding more fruits is the easiest and the most effective way to make your diet more yogic minimize frozen dried or preserved fruit in favor of fresh and in season fruit you can easily swap out desserts with fruit and use fruit as a snack food or as a side dish to your daily meals swami sivananda notes that the combination of fruit and milk boosts mental concentration and aids in meditation number 2 ghee ghee or clarified butter tastes slightly sweet which makes it the most sattvic cooking oil to use ghee is an essential power of food but it is also energetically cold and heavy so it should be used moderately ghee is rich in fatty acids and vitamin a and e and is traditionally used more during the during the early stages of a yogi's practice to increase power and stamina you, you can replace all other oils with ghee or at least you need to use only plant based oils like sesame sunflower and olive oil third honey honey is a sattvic sattvic food as long as it is raw organic and free from preservatives honey is the latest uh, uh, honey is the very least feasible amongst all foods included in a sattvic diet it also helps the detoxification process and is easy to digest like all sweetness you will need to consume it in moderation as eating too much can be harmful honey should never be boiled either as ayurveda promotes the intake of honey with cold water instead of adding refined and artificial sweetness to your diet you can use raw unfiltered organic honey raw sugar maple syrup or molasses number 4 basmati rice basmati rice is the king of all rice according to ayurveda as it helps balance all the three doshas that is vata pitta and kapha as well as being easy to digest and nourishing to the body it is used it also has a low glycerin glycerin index and promotes healthy brain functions it would be better to avoid instant or pre cooked rice as ayurveda suggests that this has less nutrition and contains less prana that is life energy whole grains especially oats and wheat are also considered sattvic unless made into yeasted bread you can try organic basmati rice over other varieties of rice number 5 fresh vegetables most mild and sweet vegetables are considered sattvic such as beets carrots cucumbers sweet potatoes squash potatoes cabbages spinach and tomatoes are considered very sattvic it's advised to avoid mushrooms pickles radishes turnips onions garlic and chilies fresh vegetables juice is an easy way to add more sattva to your diet and be an easy replacement for soft drinks coffee tea or other beverages seeds and nuts packed with healthy fats fiber minerals and vitamins fresh raw nuts and seeds form an important part of the sattvic diet raw organic almonds in particular can be eaten to energize the mind and the high magnesium and calcium content work to nourish the bones seeds and nuts are ideal for those suffering from lactose intolerance as they build strength immunity and ground and energy cashew and pistachio nuts provide a good source of protein while pumpkin seed and sunflower seeds can be used to pacify the vata dosa ayurvedic experts don't recommend eating peanuts as part of a sattvic diet as they can you as they can cause you to feel lethargic and difficult to digest soaking nuts and seeds overnight is recommended as this will remove any natural enzyme inhibitors and make them easier for your body to digest it's good to consume seeds and nuts in small portions as a snack or add them to meals as a source of protein so in a nutshell there is an affinity between body and mind 
so what we intake would affect the mental stability and consequently the spiritual aspirations those who are willing to get liberated from all of our bondages like uh, birth rebirth cycles if you want to be free from all these then you need to have or intake sadvik food because if you go beyond if you go beyond three gunas then only you would be achieving the nirguna brahma you are the part and parcel of the universe universe is made up of life energy and material energy the word yoga means union the individual soul gets united with the cosmic soul super conscious cosmic soul the union of individual soul and the cosmic super conscious soul is yoga the sanskrit word yoga describes the union of cosmic soul and individual souls there is oneness that bliss that there would be no duality there would be no pleasure no distress it's a bliss so in order to achieve that uh, immortal life or the spiritual eternal everlasting life you need to be sadvik first after crossing that level also you know after without any gunas then nirguna that is the super consciousness that can be achieved only through sadvik food it's a first step afterwards yama niyama some code of conduct to be followed then and then only we would be deserving for attaining the liberation from all the bondages and entering into the everlasting eternal super conscious bliss thank you all thanks for your time and patience have a nice day